So the plan is to go down the old Foss Way, the Roman Road, which goes from Lincoln to Exeter. We're going to join it somewhere between Leicester and Coventry and head south to Ulchester. We're approaching High Cross, which used to be at the centre of Roman Britain. It's named High Cross because it's where the old Roman roads of Watling Street and the Foss Way crossed. Here we start our journey along this part of the Foss Way at the B4455. Foss is remarkable for its extremely direct route from Lincoln to Ulchester. It's a distance of 182 miles, which is never more than 6 miles from a straight line. The word Foss is derived from the Latin fossa meaning ditch. In the first few decades after the Roman invasion of Britain, the Foss Way marked the western frontier of Roman rule in Iron Age Britain. It is possible that the road began as a defensive ditch and was later filled in and converted into a road. B4455 changes into the A429 near the boundary with Gloucestershire, the town called Halford. Here we are going through Morton in the Marsh on the A429 still, heading towards Stowe and then on to North Leach where we'll have our first break. After two hours of riding through the rain, we turn off to North Leach.
turned into the Black Cat Cafe for our well deserved lunch. Just passing Kemble Airfield, also known as Cotswold Airport. Formerly Royal Air Force Kemble, the Red Arrows were based here until 1983. Currently it's used for the storage and recycling of retired airliners, as well as various flying schools and clubs. We lost the Foss Way somewhere after Chippenham, stopped for fuel, got on the roads, got all mixed up, um, ended on the A4 going towards Bath. Once we got into Bath, we avoided the traffic by going along the bus lane, um, parked up in Bath and decided that the weather was just atrocious and we should think about heading to Portland. So we aimed for Dorchester, and away we went. The Limpley Stoke Viaduct carries the A36 over Midford Brook and dates from 1834 and is Grade 2 listed. Long last, the Ferry Bridge pub comes into view. This is a prominent landmark which marks the beginning of the causeway that links mainland Weymouth to the island of Portland. The pub itself actually closed in August 2015. Final bit of road now, but the entrance has been blocked off due to roadworks. So we're just going to nip down the road a little bit and then come up back along the path. Looking for 137 one wheeler. 